This is Coach Melissa. Happy Tuesday. And today I want to talk to you about how caregiving and entrepreneurship do not have to be a choice. You can have both. Now, this is where your friend systems really need to come into play, though, because to do both, you need to be organized. <laughs> Let's face it. On e in either of these roles, there's a lot, a lot of moving pieces, a lot going on, and there is no way, y'all, that you're going to be able to just think that you can remember everything, okay? You can't. You need reminders. You need to have a schedule. You need to have a plan. You need to have systems. And when you're doing these things, I want you thinking about realistically that remembering, it, okay, A, it doesn't have to be a choice. You can do both. But you need to be able to do these things in a way that makes sense to your brain and is realistic to the season of life that you're in. For example, um, a lot of t for the last couple of years, I've been getting up really early at the crack of dawn to work on my business because I had a small child and my husband has my husband's health was in a worse state than what it is today. And so I was trying to work when they were both sleeping and I was also still caring for my dad as well. So I was trying to work when they were sleeping before they started their day. So when they woke up, I could be done with the business and shifting into my role as a mom, a daughter, a caregiver, if you will. Right. But and that was but the downside of that is it meant I ran on a lot less sleep than what I am now. And I probably paid for it in some ways. But at the time, that's what worked because I was fresh, the house was quiet. But now I'm in a season where I'm having to adjust again. My dad has passed away. I'm having to deal with estate matters now. I'm learning to take care of a home all by myself. Um, and I'm also having to um, figure out a new schedule and rhythm and routine now that my daughter's in school because I do have like a two to three hour window and I could easily, I find myself easily, oh gosh, I could do this, this and this, right? And so, and I don't have as much time for everything, right? So you have to be diligent with your mindset here about, okay, it doesn't have to be a choice, I can do both, but you need to pick and choose and have a schedule and a routine about what works. So for me, what really helps is in the mornings when I'm getting up and getting my daughter through her school routine now is getting some of those household tasks done and out of the way. So um, getting caught up on the dishes, um, maybe starting a load of laundry. So that way those things are going so that by, by that way, by the time I get back from taking our daughter to school, I can focus on the business stuff. So right hence why I'm in here recording this live, tr this tra live tutorial training for you. Okay. So you have to be diligent with your routine. Now, is that the way it goes every, every day for me? Obviously not. Like tomorrow I have an appointment. And so I'm going to, I'm probably not going to work as much on the business tomorrow because of my appointment that I have to go to. Um, and that's okay. So it's okay to ebb and flow it with whatever you have going on your in your schedule because we all have medical appointments, our loved one has medical appointments, and we have other uh, tasks that demand our attention, okay? Got to pay bills. So, but you need to think about if you're going to do both, how can you leverage it to where you give time to both in a way that's realistic? And it's okay, guys, if you're just starting out like I am, like I'm just getting back in the saddle after a major trauma, traumatic experience. Yes, I had a system that worked for the last two and a half years for me. But I'm finding now I'm in a new season and that's not serving. So there's certain things I'm still going to keep doing at the same time. But then there's other things I'm finding, you know what, I need to tweak it a little bit so I can have time to take care of this other area in my life that I'm responsible for. Okay. And the, but the benefit that I'm enjoying, though, in the season I'm in now is having my daughter in school for half a day so I can get stuff done. Yes, on both the house and also um, have time to also work on the business again when the house is less chaotic and quiet and I'm getting more sleep. So, but for you, if you have little ones that are not sleeping through the night or your loved one really, um, or your lo loved one is having health issues that demand that you get up a lot, maybe multiple times in the night to take care of them, it might mean that you don't have this, you may not be able to get up early and do it. So maybe it is, um, working later into the night, maybe a little bit after they've gone to bed when it's quieter and maybe leveraging time when they're laying, when your loved one's laying down for a nap and your kids are either are laying down for a nap as well to maybe get some work done then. And maybe you have a one to two hour window there. So that's okay. But then that's where you need to have the, that's where the system of having things written down of a, a task list, whether it's in Asana, Trello, Notion, Google Calendar of things you're going to sit down and work on and also, just bear in mind when you're doing this, 
keep it simple. <laughs> okay, don't try to, when you're, whether it's a, t a house for the task, uh, excuse me, let, let me rework that. Whether it's a task for like the caregiving side or the business side or your personal life, don't overcrowd your calendar, okay? Think about, keep it simple, pick no more than maybe one to two, maybe three things and be okay with that. If all you get done in that hour to two hour window, or even just all day, like you have on your calendar, okay, your agenda, today I'm gonna get one load of laundry done. And if all I get done is, if all I do is get it in the dryer, at least I have clean clothes I can fold in the morning, okay? I've been in that in that, in that that um, uh, season of life myself, okay? I'm doing a lot more laundry because my daughter's getting older and she's making a lot more messes in a different way now. So it's okay. It's okay if you break it down and you do it slow. On the business side, maybe it is, if you're just getting started, maybe it is working on one blog post. You know, every every Monday you work on a blog post or maybe every Tuesday you work on just practicing going live um on a platform that you've chosen where you or even do a stewing markets and market research for an hour to figure out where your audience is maybe it's getting in the habit of recording a podcast maybe it's working on that taking an hour to work on that course you're trying to create maybe it's taking an hour to um finish that welcome sequence okay just so you see where i'm going now pick one or two things because some of these projects do take more time so you're going to need to again of course take into account it's going to take a little while to do it especially if you don't have as much time but progress over perfection here okay getting a little bit of done at a time is a lot better than doing nothing and that goes both ways either as a caregiver or as an entrepreneur and it's okay to make mistakes it's okay to try something and realize oh okay i tried that that didn't work out too well so you just need to tweak it okay so and take that into account. There's a lot, as an entrepreneur and as a caregiver, there's going to always be someone that has an opinion um, or a tool or something or a resource. And not, not to say that they're not helpful, but I want you to be also aware too, as you're taking in information, even from me, I want you to think about what makes sense to your brain. Are you visual or do you like, um, or do you need it? Or do you like to have, do you like to write by paper? Do you like to write things? Do you like to use a digital resource to track all this stuff? Are you a morning person? Are you an afternoon person? Um, do you need a lot of, do you need um, to, do you need to allow yourself um, some preparatory time? Do you need a reminder about the next upcoming task in your day? Like on your phone, like Google calendar or something before, so that way you can mentally shift for the next thing. Whatever you need to do, there's no or right, wrong way to do it. I just want you taking what I teach you or any information that you might get from another uh, caregiver mentor, another business business mentor to tweak it. Make it make sense to you. Take, uh, you know, appreciate the valuable information that are little, those little um, nuggets of helpful tips that make sense to you, but tweak it in a way that makes sense to your brain and run with it, okay? Because we're all different. And how I do things in my caregiving journey and my business is obviously 100% different than everybody else out there. And that's okay. It's supposed to be different. You're your own person and you know your family better than anybody. You know your business better than anybody, guys. So you need to figure out a way to do things in a way that makes sense to you. And there's no right or wrong way. Okay? So that's my little nugget for today. Remember, it doesn't, <laughs> it's not impossible to do both, but this is where the rubber meets the road where you do need to have some systems, okay? And tomorrow, we're gonna talk about how, how, how preparing for the unexpected in terms of systems can really be a lifesaver, particularly on the caregiving side, but we'll, I'll touch a little bit on the business side too. So if you're liking these videos, definitely make sure you're subscribed to my Instagram handle. And obviously too, if you have any other um, questions or topics you would like me to talk about, please leave it in the comments below. And also um, I will definitely be doing, a, I'm working on a series for my podcast um, that will go into a little bit more detail of some of these things as well. So, cause there's only so much you can do on a live, right? So anyway, I hope you're enjoying these videos. I hope they're helpful and I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.